stop making these 10 editing mistakes in DaVinci Resolve. Mistake one is using your mouse to select everything after a certain point in the timeline, for example, to move everything over, when instead you can just position the playhead, hit Y on the keyboard. This will automatically select all of the clips under the playhead and to the right. You can then move them over. If you want to select everything backwards, hit Control Y instead. Mistake number two is related to mistake number one, and that's where you select everything after a certain clip, drag it across, just so you can make this clip a bit longer. Instead, hit T to enter trim edit mode, or click this button here, and then at the top right here, drag this first clip left or right to make it longer or shorter, and all of the other clips that follow it will automatically move left and right. Mistake three is when you want to add a clip in between some existing clips on the timeline, instead of moving everything over and then dragging the clip in and then moving everything back. Instead, just position the playhead where you want the new clip to be, click on the clip in the media pool or double click to open it in the source viewer, and then either drag it across, drop it on the insert button here, or hit F9 on the keyboard to insert it between those existing two clips. Mistake four is wasting time when you want to swap the positions of clips in the timeline by dragging everything across, moving the clip to where you want it to be, and then filling up these holes. Instead, just just select the clip that you want to shuffle left or right and then use control shift and comma on the keyboard to swap it with the left clip or control shift and period on the keyboard to swap it with the clips to the right. Stop making mistake number five and that's scrolling all the way to the end of a timeline, positioning the playhead and then dragging in a clip that you want to add right at the end of the timeline. Instead, select the clip by left clicking on it and then use the keyboard shortcut shift F12 to append that clip right at the end of the timeline. Stop wasting time manually clicking on a clip and hitting backspace to delete it when your playhead is already there. Instead use the keyboard shortcut shift and V to select the clip under the playhead and then hit backspace to delete it. But Jason, there's a gap in the timeline now. Don't select everything after the gap and then manually move it across, that's a waste of time. Instead hit shift and V again to select the empty space, hit backspace to remove the space. Even better when you're deleting a clip, instead of hitting backspace, use shift backspace to delete the clip and automatically delete the space. This video is not sponsored, but this channel is supported by people like you. When you buy my eBooks, like my DaVinci Resolve editing field manual, there's a link in the description. Mistake eight is dragging an entire clip into the timeline and then scrolling through it and finding the bits you want and just chopping off the start and the end just to find the bit in the middle that you actually want. Instead in the source viewer here, if you can't see that, make sure you click this button here, open the clip that you want to add, scroll through the clip to find the start of the clip that you want to use and hit I on the keyboard to add an in point, scroll to the end bit, hit O on the keyboard to add an out point. And now whenever you add this to the timeline, it's only gonna add this section between the in and out point that you selected. Mistake nine is struggling to move a clip just one or two frames to the left or right using the mouse. Instead, make sure the clip's selected and then hit period on the keyboard to move it one frame to the right at a time and comma on the keyboard to move it one frame to the left at a time. Mistake 10 is manually adding a video track and then dragging some footage down every time you want to add some B-roll on top of existing footage in the timeline. Instead, place the playhead where you want to insert the B-roll on top of the existing footage, open the clip in the source viewer and hit F12 on the keyboard to add the video on top of any existing clips in the timeline. If there's no empty video tracks available, Resolve will add a new one for you like this video track 2 here. And as a bonus mistake, stop forgetting to subscribe to this channel and turning on notifications so you don't miss out on future Resolve tips. I'm Jason Roberts. Check out this video next and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.